All right, great football game. Uh, exciting for a lot of people, except for coaches that coach defense on both sides. We uh, both teams gave up a lot of yards. Difference in the game was obviously turnovers. Uh, I think we set a national record of six games without a turnover, and that's uh, pretty hard to do. Our guys had to play pretty much perfect on both sides, and we just didn't do it. But we played hard, we played fast, and, uh, and most time we played smart. We uh, had a good game plan on both sides. Running game got us. Uh, they've been able to run it on everybody, and uh, we weren't any different. Uh, we knew this would be a high-scoring game. We felt like we'd have to score 45. That was that was our number, 45, to win the game, and it wasn't enough. And uh, so, I'm proud of the seniors. They did well. Uh, uh, they kept this group together. Last week, all we talked about was responding to adversity because of how we coached and played last week, which we didn't uh, didn't do very well. But we responded this week in practice and the game, and our guys really played hard. And uh, that's all we can ask of them. Uh, Seth is, uh, you know, he'll, uh, a lot of people say with well, three interceptions, but I tell you what, I'll take that kid to battle any time and, uh, because he's trying to make plays and has made a lot of plays. And uh, he's one of those kids that uh, he'll take it harder than anybody. Uh, he told the group at the beginning of the week, he says, just give me some help, I'll, we'll win this game. I'm going to do everything I can to win the game. And he, that's the type of kid he is. We had some great performances, and, uh, but again, uh, our third overtime, and uh, we weren't able to pull it off. Questions? Okay, who wants to go first? Mike's on both sides. First question, coach, is right here. How frustrating is that? I mean, just the self-inflicted part of it all. Um, yeah, well, it's self-inflicted. and But, you know, uh, there's turnovers usually in every game. And, uh, you know, they, they roll the ball back. And, Dropped it on the goal line and picked it up and scored. And it's just one of those things that I don't know. You know, you don't make excuses. We just got to make plays. And today we went into making up plays and we didn't. It just it's frustrating. Is is uh, an understatement. How how good that uh, Darren Ward and Eric Ward played. Both of them played hurt most of the week long. Practiced and I want to say something about Eric Waddle, uh, Leadron Waddle. Uh, probably, I mean, he wanted to play and he was out there on pins and needles and played his tail off and uh, we had several guys do that. Terry McDaniel went back in the game and probably none of us would have done that. And uh, it was uh, a lot of kids grew up. This is a game of, of, uh, of maturing and understanding about life. And, and uh, boy, we've had to do that in the last five or six weeks. LT did yeah, set sorry. back. I, you know, I, I mean, you, you know, what can you say? Holding in overtime. Uh, that's the one thing we talked about is no penalties in overtime. You can't win penalties in overtime. I mean, that's one thing you got to stay away from. And uh, had a play action pass call, and they called our, our tackle. Of course, you can call that pretty much any any play on, on both teams. But unfortunately, we had a call on us. And went, went, went against us. It's hard to make up ground. You mentioned uh, all the games that y'all have played in the last month and a half with no turnovers. Do you consider that in some ways bad luck, or is there a problem defensively? Yeah. With, well, I'd say when you give up 700 yards, you got problems on both. But uh, you know, our guys play hard. You know, it's just uh, you know, we won some games on defense this year. Had a had a very good defense all year long, and uh, we're going to end up ranked at somewhere in the top 30 or 40. And that's much better than we were last year. And, and we're a little undersized on the run. And, and uh, I tell you, they they get you in a tough spot. Their quarterback and their wide receivers, and they spread you out from sideline to sideline. And then if you leave five in the box, they run it. You, you put six in the box, they throw it. And, uh, you know, we were hoping to get one or two turnovers, but it just didn't happen. What was the game plan for defending Terrence Williams? We, we doubled him most of the time. Uh, he still caught it, made some unbelievable catches. Uh, the one third down catch and what was their last drive was just unbelievable. I think they missed the field goal on that drive. But uh, kid uh, Florence, Nick Florence is a competitor. He's uh, He put the ball on the money. and. Uh, didn't get him in trouble and made good plays all year long. You know, we've watched him and he's, I'll tell you what, he's a battler. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed watching him on film. Didn't enjoy playing against him today, but uh, they, they've got some weapons. They've got a lot of good weapons on the outside and the quarterback really played well. Uh, Baylor's touchdown at the end of the first half. What, what, what happened there? Yeah, wrong coverage. One guy didn't get the call, which is, uh, you know, that's what happens sometimes. You don't communicate. And 
was going fast and and we had the backup corner in there and he didn't he just uh, you know we didn't we were supposed to be playing three deep and he jumped an out route. We gave up 14 points in the last what minute you know the half and that was uh, that was a tough situation. After you guys got bowl eligible with the TCU win and got to six and one, you said that you had obviously a lot. You didn't want to stop there. You had a lot higher goals than that. What does it do to you to have only won one game since yeah, then? Yeah, uh, we played hard. You know, the, we'd like to have a couple of these games back. Uh, some of the teams that we played were were, were on the road by the time we played them. But uh, you know, we we held our own with most of them. We gave ourselves a chance and. And uh, in most, a uh, couple of them we did, but you know, uh, and we played a lot of good teams in a row. It's, it's hard to play without a tight end and a fullback. Uh, uh, I've, uh, I said in the offensive meetings and really felt bad f for the guys trying to figure out a way to run the football when you don't have a tight end, and then you lose your fullback. And our running game, you know, the difference in that that old time was they could run it and we couldn't. We we knew we had to throw it to win it, and we just couldn't get the. Uh, you know, getting consistency after, uh, really after the uh, West Virginia game of running football, we beat TCU throwing it. After, I guess this time last year, maybe two years ago also, you said what the team needed was more speed, particularly on defense. After this rough last month and a half, what do you feel like you're lacking most right now? Aside from, I guess, some things you yeah, just named. Yeah, I mean, we're a lot better on defense. We, we've got to get more speed. Uh, this is not a conference you want to coach in if you're a defensive coach. I mean, this is a hard league, you know, very hard. And uh, uh, each week you see different talent. Uh, I mean, there's some great athletes on offense in this league. And so you've got you to prepare. You've got to make plays. And just look at today. We had one group had seven, 700 yards of offense, and we almost had 600. And uh, it's, it's tough to play, play defense in this league. And you've got to tackle well, and you've got to stay healthy. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, we lost a couple of corners early in the about about a month ago, but they're back. I mean, we uh, and we've gotten better on defense. You know, this team today did the same thing to most people in scoring points. We just didn't were not weren't able to outscore them. There, uh, after late in the game, after Darren caught a, another one of those fade pass touchdowns, Baylor took out a cornerback who had given up a couple of touchdown passes. Did that influence anything from then on in terms of play calling or? No. Seth's decisions? No. no. Darren, what's just the feeling like in the locker room after obviously the effort that you guys put in to come up short? Uh, like I said, it's sad. You know, I feel sorry for the seniors that we had to go out this way. You know, it's such a close game. You know, it's not a fun way to go out, but, uh, you know, we fought. We just came up short. What, what, did, uh, what did Coach Tupperville, he seemed like he gathered you guys all going into that overtime period. Um, what did he kind of say to you guys? You know, basically the same thing I just said, you know. He's sorry that, you know, this had to happen to the seniors. Uh, we went out there and fought our hardest, and we laid it all on the line. How bittersweet is it for you, Darren, considering you guys lost the game, but you had an amazing game. So, I mean, you, you gave it everything you, everything you had, but just at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough. I wouldn't say it's bittersweet, you know. Uh, it's bitter, you know, that we took the L. You know, all those stats don't mean anything when you, when you still lose. Obviously, defensively and stopping the pass this year, did you feel like going into the week, going into this game, that you would have the kind of game that you did today? Uh, yeah. You know, I expected to have a big game against our defense. You know, I expect to have a big game against any defense. But, you know, with uh, you know the success other teams had against them, uh, I definitely came in the game real confident, as well as the offense. When they took out number nine, did that change anything for you? No, I didn't. How does this team get back up now for a for a bowl game? Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, all the the losses that we took this year, the tough losses, uh, we never got down. Like we came back the next the next day, came back ready to work, you know. We never had our held our heads low, you know, we came back and uh we got right back at it. The uh gets hit from behind. It looked like you were coming open late on that play. 
what yeah. was going through your mind at that time? Yeah, well, I had a uh, slant route, you know. They uh, jumped the route, and I turned it upfield, and Seth seen me. And as he was uh, scrolling to the right, he, you know, he was picking his hand up to throw the ball, and somebody hit it out. What will y'all say to him, I guess, after he gets a lot of yards, but also the three picks and the fumble? Well, you know, basically keep your head up, you know. It's a it's a team game. It's not it's not his fault. You know we all had a you know our part in this loss, and uh, you know just tell him to keep his head up and keep moving. Darren, you said that uh, uh, it was a tough way for the seniors to go out, but you guys still do have a game left. So now, how how will you approach the bowl game? Is is kind of this is the, this is it for the seniors and and making sure you win the season on a on a positive note? I Man, I definitely feel like the seniors. You know, we definitely want to go out with a win. You know. And taking this kind of loss, you know, in this kind of environment, uh, is definitely going to uh, push us a lot harder, you know, to get the W. Can you just kind of describe the mood and, and what players are feeling right now? Um, especially the seniors, they're feeling they're feeling pretty sad because last year we they didn't win, and we felt like this was a, one of the biggest game of the year. So they feel like, yeah, they're pretty sad. Is it frustrating for you guys that it seems like you were right there, but it was always some kind of mistake that got made to, to kind of push you guys backward? How, how, how much, how frustrating was that? It was very frustrating. I felt that um, that even though that we kept getting pushed back, that we can overcome adversity. So I was just keep telling everybody on the sideline, keep your head up because we can overcome this. What did you see on the kick return? Um, I basically just saw the open hole and I just used my speed and just just uh, ran past everybody. Is it the first kickoff you return? Or you uh, yes, sir. That was the first kickoff return I ever uh, returned. Anything else? Have you noticed uh, anything different about the team? Um, in the last five games as compared to the first seven games of the year where you guys have kind of been kind of in a rut for like the last four or five games? Um, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty much the same. But also when, when we took that, when we took that first loss, when we was going on the streak of being undefeated, yeah, it got to us like we need to come back to practice and work harder and just and keep our focus. How important now is the bowl game for you guys uh, so that you can fi still finish the season on a positive note, but uh, how do you kind of approach going, to that, going into that bowl game? How I approach it is I'm going to approach it like in any other practice. I'm going to practice hard as I can, and I'm going to sell out for the seniors because I know that this is their last game. And, you know, possibly the players that play right now don't have another chance to go to the NFL, so this is their last game. So I'm going to do everything in my power to sell out for them. And also, it just they I know that they want to go out with a bang, so I'm, they're going to try their best to get this W, too. You know, for you and for guys in that locker room? Um, it's, it's real tough, man. It's, it's a tough loss. It's a close game. And then for it to be your last regular season game, I mean, I mean it really hurts. I know we all want to get that W so bad, you know, just, just from last week, you know, we took it a, a – Big loss, and so we wanted to come back this week and you know change it around before we go to this bowl game and, and get a W. But we weren't capable of doing it. So I mean, is it frustrating for you guys? You know, just the last four games, you know, the last five games without being able to get to get a turnover. And, and what do you kind of think um, was it just made that so hard to do for you guys? I mean, you really can't call it. I mean, it's just just how the ball plays. I mean. You know, if the turnover, turnover is going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, I mean, some players they make they make turnovers, and we just weren't able to capitalize on doing that. So, Cornelius, um, how did you feel out there? Being with this being your first game in six weeks, roughly, how did you feel out there, particularly coming back against uh, that caliber of uh, passing game? Um, I felt good. I mean, a whole week of practice, I was running around. Um, making cuts, you know, it was my knee felt my felt well, but I mean, I wasn't wasn't too worried about the Baylor offense. I mean, I just had to go out there and do my job, and I felt comfortable. 
It looked like, particularly for the first, say, three quarters or so, you guys were rotating a lot at corner. Mm -hmm. Were y'all, was that to try to stay fresh or what was behind yeah, that? Yeah, our coach, he told us uh, we had a time that uh, we're going to rotate. Just keep legs, uh, keep your legs fresh. Keep uh, keep the corners coming in and out. How good a receiver, in your opinion, is Terrence Williams? How is he? I mean, what quality of a receiver? Oh, he's a good receiver. I mean, he has good hands, good speed. Just. <sighs> For uh, Will, when they're in the third quarter, fourth quarter, overtime, when it seems like y'all are having so much trouble getting the stop, what's the what's going through your minds as a defense there? Uh, I mean, pretty much. Just try to set it down, everybody get on the same page, so that we all focus and just execute our own jobs, and take care of the ball. But sometimes we get a little ahead of ourselves and don't settle down, and that's how mistakes happen. How hard did Florence, I mean, his ability to kind of move around, he made some plays with his feet. How, how difficult was that when he was able to kind of get out of the pocket? How much more, how much more difficult did it make your job? Um, it, I mean, it made it a little more difficult, but if everybody just does their job and take care of your gap responsibility, it wasn't too difficult to stop. But, I mean, it happens every, sometimes because, you know, like I said, stuff gets hectic, so you try to make a play. Uh, Will, the last, I guess with four losses in your last five games, the struggles that y'all have had on defense, besides not having Cornelius and guys like Bullet. Anything else different defensively this last month and a half that, that led to the problems? Um, I wouldn't say it was too much difference. I mean, it was a major difference not having them. But I mean, we got guys who need to step up. And most of the time they did. It's just certain times the ball don't bounce our way. That's usually what happened. How do you, all, how do you feel like this team will get back up for a bowl game over the next month? Uh, I think we will bounce back pretty smoothly. Uh, I, it was a tough loss. I mean, it hurts just like the one last week. But I mean, we just got to get over it and get on to the next game and try to finish the season out strong.